feels like I'm at my studio or something like that, pointing, pointing out things in mm. drawings. It's a lot of books there. There is, yeah. And uh, these are Reader's Digest, aren't they, Grim? Yeah. yeah. It's partially why I use them, because they, they've been edited already. There's something missing, but we can't yeah. tell what's, what's gone. Yeah. It's a... <coughs> well, maybe it's like populist magazines and reading. Yeah. Well, it's, it's kind of Prolet like they, they've been edited for a particular page count or word count or whatever. And um, the... That act of editing um, results in a situation of loss, and you know, so we may be aware there's something gone or something missing, but we wouldn't be aware of what it is. Condensation. Right? Yeah, oh. yeah. So um, every one of the uh, on a lot of them, you can see these black lines. Uh, that's where a new book starts, because there's four in each one. So how does this edit happen? How does it happen? Yeah. It's given to ruthless people <laughs> to cut. <laughs> um, I don't, cut from the original publication. Cut from the original publication. So, the, so you're talking about these are the selection process. Yeah, these are republished books that have been edited to fit this format. So right. something has been removed. So there's a, they've already undergone a process of, of, of loss. And so then I, what I've done to them is in many ways akin to editing, where they've been cut to a particular size um, and then bound together and polished and, and then new text has been inscribed into the surface. Really distilled, isn't it? Almost to a... Yeah. yeah it looks like a modu modular... Of course, it's a modular sculpture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much so.